Hello and welcome to the Advanced Mini Membership. We're delighted to have you here. This is week one of your first five week process. Now, every other month in this membership is a four week duration, but this week one of the five weeks is, I suppose, a, a, an opportunity for you to familiarize yourself with our platform, to familiarize yourself with the people in your group, and to get a clear understanding of how you can utilize this app to your greatest benefit. This week is also an opportunity for us to get to know you a little bit more. And what I mean by that is we want to understand how you move. So for example, if you say you are very familiar with squats, but you do a squat for us and we see there's some imbalances, we have a better idea when we're doing your programming as to how we might help you to resolve those imbalances or help you to work through them and develop a more balanced um, approach to specific movements. So what we're going to do is give you two generic training sessions and those sessions are really simple. They're very easy. You can do them without weights or you can add weights, whatever feels comfortable for you. This is also going to be an opportunity for you to begin to develop your reflective process around your training. Now, even though this isn't a one-to-one -one coaching pro program, this is absolutely the most useful element of the program for yourself. And if we can start to develop that reflective process in training, it's going to benefit you so much going forward because it's going to inform your decision making about your training as you progress. So I'm going to attach a sample uh, of my own training uh, reflective process for you to have a look through. It doesn't have to be exactly like this. I will give you other options as we go through the program as to how you can structure your training uh, reflective journal, but it's a really, really useful way of you deciding where do I go next? What do I do next? How do I structure my training next? What do I want from my training next? So one example of this reflective process might be that you go into a training session and you experience that training session as a red light, an amber light or a green light. A red light being you were exhausted on the day, didn't feel very good or you were achy or whatever it might have been. An amber training program might be, God, you know, that was hard. I feel wrecked after it. Um, but, you know, I got all the I got all the training done and I was able to do all the exercises. And a green light might be that was a great session. I it, I worked really hard. I feel buzzed um, and I came out of it feeling really good. So you might put a color next to each, each session and put a note with it. So you can start there very simply. You can start at that. If you don't have different colors, you might say, uh, I'm going to mark this session uh, out of five. One being the worst session you've ever done in your life. It was really just awful and it felt terrible. So that's the red zone. Or five being awesome session, really enjoyed it, feel great after it. So how did it feel to you? Now, we'll move on from there as the weeks go on and we'll ask some more questions that you can add to that reflective journal and we'll ask those questions or we'll give those prompts in our weekly uh, Q&A session. So don't be afraid to get it wrong. You'll never be asked to share your reflective journal, but it is an opportunity for you to, rather than for your check-in, sharing how you feel on one specific day, it will give you the opportunity to look back and share a trend of how your training has gone, how you felt, and then over the course of a month, it may allow you to share how you felt or to understand how you felt, perhaps based on your cycle or based on how busy work is or based on a, an array of other things. And what we're trying to do is teach you how to identify patterns in your energy levels, in your training capabilities. And of course, to take a record of your training understand what weights you're lifting for what exercises, what feels good to you, what feels difficult to you, so that we can plan progression going forward. If you have any questions today, don't be afraid to pop them up into the chat group and we'll be back to you as soon as we can.